the personal day. Over a period of, say, 24 plus flux hours, or over 48 plus flux hours, one's endurance and one's stamina or vigor fluctuate. For example, Ineri Dinsha 777777 has endurance of 7. His personal day is 24 plus flux hours. If we were to roll flux and get 0, that would be 24 hours. Awakening at 0600, his first 7 hours are his optimal period. At 1300, his ordinary period begins. Later, he becomes tired, and later, he becomes sleepy, routinely needing personal day over three, eight hours of sleep. Another example of Nargal using the stamina characteristic. Nargal needs personal day over three, 17 hours of sleep, going to bed at 3,700, much later than Aneri's 2,200, and waking up at 5,400, also later than Aneri's 3, 30,000, 300. So our endurance and stamina and vigor replacements of one another, perhaps. Physical characteristics we have are Sees one, two, and three for strength, dex, agility, and grace, endurance, stamina, and vigor. Vigor is a measure of determination, short term ability to pursue a task, and short term fatigue resistance, whereas stamina, an analog of endurance, as well is personal determination and long-term task persistence. So some characters may use stamina instead of endurance. A character whose endurance is zero lies comatose and as their endurance rises grow from lethargic to superlative. Likewise, a character whose dexterity, who has the dexterity characteristic, as it rises, they grow from paralyzed through clumsy to superlative. Through adroit Adroit is a pretty good word, I think. And I don't know at this juncture how quickly characteristics change for an individual character, if ever, or under what training or circumstances. These are the physical characteristics available to a character. Here's a rule. Sidebar, holding one's breath. Character can hold their breath until failing check C3 of DM plus one per combat round. C3, as we saw, which is to say characteristic three, determines the natural day, the need for sleep, and the ability to perform tasks. So this section is redundant with the 
previous page of the personal day. The mental and social characteristics covering C's four through six and optionally sanity, which range from non-functioning to a series of sanes. I suppose one cannot be super sane. As well as education, which may be replaced by training or instinct in those sophants who don't receive training, like the Zerg. Character generation. Here we go. Start by rolling out the character. Assume the character is human with standard characteristics generated by 2D each. For now, ignore genetics. Let's see. I have printed out the charts and tables from this book, including a character card. This is a human character. whose characteristics we can determine as an example. with, we are going to assume the character is human and generate two dice six times, recording the results in the order that they are rolled, not swapping them out, and deferring sigh and sanity, which I do not see listed on this character card at all, and which are grayed out in the book. So let's roll them in order. Strength of four. Well, so this is the UPP, and these are the characteristics. So I wonder where I ought to fill them in on the under characteristics or under their UPP. And then later I will select or determine a home world. Let's try 2D equals 4. Dexterity of 7, so average 8. Endurance, a slightly harder, hardier than Average individual, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yet clever. Albeit not super. 
superlatively educated and of what social standing? Below average as well. Select or determine a homeworld that will go over here. We have a table here for determining the homeworld within the spinward marches, all the way from Alel to deep space at a double six, but with merely a light and then dark, we have a five and two, code Z, Tralfa. Tralfa, Hex, and Sector 2834 Spin, a B590 630 6 class world. What is B590 630 6? And with trade classes, several trade classes of D, E, H, E, N, I, and A, N, which are Desert, D, E, Hell World, N, I, Non Industrial, and A, N, an Ancient Site. So, an ancient desert, an ancient non industrial desert hell world of Tralfa. Not too uh, luxurious. Tralfa, which I'll fill in, a, the, I'll fill in the UWP here, because I think that that will give us more information later when we understand it, B590-630-6, a desert hell world, non-industrial, and ancient, D-E-H-E-N-I-A-N. -E These trade classifications make available to us skills such as zero G, bureaucrat, vac suit from the desert world classification. We are offered the survival skill from the hell world, the hostile environment skill. From the non-industrial world, we are offered the driver skill and from the ancient site, we are offered none in particular. I wonder if there isn't some other characteristic of an ancient site trade classification world. But in the meantime, I'm pretty excited about the concept of an ancient desert hell world and the kinds of the kinds of people who might make it off the kinds of travelers heroic science fiction protagonists who might make it off alive from such a world Characters and Careers. Characters are generated through die rolls that create characteristics. Select skills, knowledges, and talents as abilities which enable a character to deal with the universe. Determine experience as the history of the character's life before beginning the game. This is the notorious life path character generation minigame. Record information 
on the character card and in brief summary in the UPP, which I have left blank in case there are changes to this characteristic set that we can later reflect in our UPP. Personal characteristics. A character has six of them. There are the human characteristics, there are the additional characteristics for Sophants, and the characteristic code, the UPP, the first digit is C1, the second C2, etc. Generating our U universal personality profile. Record the result in EHEX as UPP. For example, Leo Mitch, ah, here are the five steps. Characteristics, homeworld, education, and training. For some, this is their birth world. For others, the world in which they spent their childhood. What is not yet clear to me is whether or not I acquire those skills, all of them, together, or if they are instead options. Birth worlds and home worlds. The world on which a character is born is their birth world, on which they were raised, their home world. Ah, they may be the same or they may be different. I wrote home world because here it says select or determine a home world. But, I have not determined birth world. Is that perhaps randomly rolled? Homeworld skills. World descriptions include trade classifications and remarks. A character receives one specified skill for each trade classification or remark from the homeworld. For example, characters from an ag agricultural world automatically receives animals one. Player inspects the character's birth world and determines the available birth world skills. If the player is dissatisfied, he may decide the character changed worlds as a child. A new world is determined to be the homeworld the available skills dictated by the home world are taken instead. I see. So, if I would like a mulligan on Tralfa, I could instead imagine that my character were born <laughs> just next door, five and one on Jorbund, a fluid non-industrial world. Well, that would offer me only hostile environment, and none of the mystery of the ancient world or the hill world capacity, so I'm going to stick with Tralfa. Because I find that more compelling. But I do now understand that it is a choice for a mulligan type decision. Homeworld and birth world information imply other details which can be created by other procedures in Traveler. Those are those procedural generation methods. Again, some characters want to hide their pasts. It is common for such a person to claim to be from Erewemos or Asipite and other reasonable people understand not to inquire further, these are some G0 and V worlds. What is G0? What is V? G0 sounds like zero gravity. I'm not sure what these classifications imply. Neighboring worlds. The Spinward Marches homeworld chart uses the marches as a focus. Reveries may produce similar tables suited for their own campaigns. Yes, this is a set of worlds that could be generated using other texts in this series.
date of birth. The referee provides the current date of the beginning of venturing. I have no referee. I suppose I am the referee. The default date is 001-1105, the first day of the 1105th year of the imperial calendar, counting from the establishment of the third imperium, generally known as the Golden Age, the height of the empire's power and influence. We can then subtract the muster out age from 1105 to determine birth year and randomly determine the specific birth day from the imperial calendar, which can be deferred until character generation is complete. Completing the character card. Homeworld, record the birth world and a different homeworld. Record birth world and homeworld skills. Record the character's birth date. A character thus far. Example, Eneri Dinsha 9A B56A. Although I haven't broken 10, so no need for E hex. Genetic 4553XX. Not something that I have considered are the genetics from. Regina, 1910. Trader 1. Chef 1. Age 18, born 069, 1087, or maybe deferred. Current date, 11105. So let's get our skills from Tralfa down. Desert. Survival 1. Hell world. Hostile environment. Hostile env one. Non industrial drive one. Pretty cool. And ancient site, no skill. Character thus far. Nameless, nameless, 478-966, no genetics. How, how were we supposed to have identified genetics? What was that listing for the example? 453XX, 45 Three, four, five, five, three, that's right. Four, five, five, three. Now, where are genetics referred to? And did I miss them, or will they come up in the future? Let's see if we can't look through the index. Dice tables, birth dates, master mod tables for genetics, GE, gender, engineer, general genetics, 48, just going to 48, 53, Fifty-six, three, six, eight, one, oh, two, three, six, seven. Where are we now? Fifty-nine. Okay. So there are a couple of mentions that I must not have absorbed. Genetic profile is a six-letter string using the initial letters of the characteristics which shows the specific six characteristics for a Sofant. Ah, our genetics, therefore, are the human genetics, shown on the back of our character card as HBS, no. That's not correct. Shown as our characteristics, 
S D E I E S. No. That doesn't seem right because the example genetic code is numerical and not alphabetical. The genetic profile, for example, SDEIS or SASIC int int cast is the position dependent and the position codes. So perhaps four five five is A four, B five, C five. No, there is no A four. Every character has strength or C1. There's only one C1. Oh, and of course, the numerical uh, the numbers are in position. So, let's take a look at page 53. Perhaps that will explain genetics. Personal day, Vigor, stamina, and endurance. In fact, I do not see on page 53 a reference to the character's genetics, although perhaps they determine one's characteristics. but I do not see. So perhaps page, well, again, we come to 58. Genetic 4553XX. It remains a mystery to me what that indicates, but very excited about my character from Tralfa. The hostile, ancient, non-agricultural desert world. So let's look at pre-career education and training. We may improve our initial education or training by pursuing attendance at a school, academy, college, or university. We are a human, not a sofont with training or instinct would be excluded from the education or training process and can therefore focus on our education characteristic. A student attending an education institution and who receives an adverse die roll or decision such as prerequisite, application, check, pass-fail check, or honors may try for a waiver to check one's social. So this is using one's social status to augment the decisions and die rolls for getting into and out of successfully pre-career education and training periods of one's life or terms, I believe it is, pre-education pre-career education and training terms. This is a multi-step process. If prerequisites are met, the character applies for admission. If successful, the character rolls for pass-fail for each year of the process. Passing awards one of the available skills. Failure terminates the process. Now, our character has a fairly high intellect. And so, we ought to confidently approach education. So let's find our prerequisite. Major and minor may select appropriate skills and knowledges. You may change your major and minor each time a new educational institution, institution is attended. Language as a major or minor, acquired at double rate and not restricted by native language level. 
English speaking human Saga M656778. Anglic 7 attends college and declares, as his major, the common Varger language, Kvech. He successfully passes four years of college and receives four levels of his major. Because language is acquired at double rate through education, he now has Kvech 8. Prerequisites are a minimum, higher are allowed. Admission. To apply, a character must check one of the stated characteristics. Educational institutions, ED5, trade schools, college or university academy, master's programs, OTC and no TC, apprenticeship, mentoring, and training course. Those are training institutions. Let's see what we can find. Education. Trade school, prerequisite, to apply, available skills, college academy, academy school. Duration, graduation, honors, okay. Let's try and get our nameless character into school. Let's, actually, before we do that, let's see if we can't find some way of coming up with a name. Uh, names, L-M-N. M N and Navigator Naval Native Intelligent Life Naval. Nothing about naming. So that is a task. An exercise left up to the reader. Education for characters. Basic higher education military. Trade school, apprenticeship, mentorship, and training courses. So the prerequisites for ED5. Now the prerequisites for a trade school are education five plus, which is to say one rolls. ED5 is a program to raise education to a minimally acceptable level. Because it is the minimum prerequisite for trade schools, a character with education less than five needs to take education ED5 to raise his education to this minimally acceptable level. Now, where does it say that? Prerequisite of trade school is an education of five plus. There does not seem to be a pass or fail check for, ah, there is. Pass, fail, check, int. Pass, fail, must pass the required number of times. Check the stated characteristic the stated number of times. Now, check, to check a characteristic, one might recall, is to roll dice and roll under. So when we say check strength or check intelligence, instructs the user to compare 2D versus the given standard. There is no target number. Actually, we have a target number on our pass-fail check. We do not have a target number on our pass-fail check. So what we are to do then, I surmise, if we are attempting to enter into a trade school or apprenticeship, let's go with a trade school, is to roll intelligence, and in return we will get our major plus two. Well, trade schools provide vocational education and specific skills. 
so I'm wondering, can we roll under our intelligence and since we have an education of greater than six, get immediately enrolled in six, seven, eight, nine. That is our intelligence. So this would be just scraping by, just scraping under, I believe, We don't see 2D, we just see check. Check characteristic. Check characteristic is one of the basics. Here it says in check, an instruction to roll dice and compare the result against a standard. It says a standard, which is rather abstract, and it gives the example of kilometers and not the example of an individual characteristic, which I would expect to be the most common check, a characteristic check. So I do remember seeing an example. Ah, yes, for example, Don is confronted by a large beast. If you throw the pack, have these modifiers, the step-by-step -step approach. He makes the target nine. Why is the target nine? Don's target is seven. If you trigger the flash, your target is seven on 2D. This seems to be a broken down or a, a component view of what might be abbreviated as check strength or check dexterity. And I would like to see the rules for a characteristic check. Check characteristic, page 48. Characteristics provide a simple mechanism, check characteristic for resolving situations. Select an appropriate characteristic and roll 2D against that characteristic, equal or less, gives success, and therefore equal nine to our characteristic of intelligence. Nine passes our intelligence check to get into trade school for a duration of one year, and we get a plus two to our major, and the available schools and the available skills are, what, anything? This is the first time I am seeing a list of skills in total, a potentially exhaustive list of skills. Knowledge only skills are here, mentoring and training courses, apprenticeships, the careers, these also involve training. So we've gotten into a trade school majoring in what skill? Where does a trade school, where is a trade school defined? On the previous page, page 59, is there a definition of a trade school? College trade school provides vocational education in specific, generally non-academic, skills. So, we can get a plus two in specific skills such as fighter battle dress, fighter beams or blades or slug throwers, aeronautics, gunners and engineers, Shh, soldier, fighter, heavy weapons, the arts. Perhaps our character here has spent a year training in the arts in an art college or 
or in the science of archaeology, although it says generally non-academic, so perhaps something more like advocate or bureaucrat or designer or driver. I could turn my driver skill from a 1 to a 3, which would greatly improve my, my character's capacity for navigating planet side, or rather for surviving planet side escapades on wheels. <laughs>